market yep. research. It was, right? was, yep. uh, was a heading with a, a picture of a pad with a pair of glasses just left on the pad. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. And it was actually about him leaving and finishing up his assignments with health. So it was, and it generated, the stats on it were actually quite interesting as the people that actually began then to look at it mm. from what industries, from what professions, from what gender, the whole thing was mm. quite interesting. Yeah, excellent. So it's all starting to um, get some creative ideas, and it's all about implementation because it's just, like we have limitations, right? Like, well, we can't say that because these people won't like it. But that's good on social media. We want to create conversations, disruption. Choose images that stand out. Uh, again, if you look at the most popular posts, if you follow like the guys who are getting most engagement on in your like area, whether it's leadership or entrepreneurship or whatever. Check out their images, they're probably going to be using some pretty cool ones. You can take them, you can use them, just source where you got it from, that's all you need to do. And same thing with Google, you can find images, type in images that create engagement, <laughs> you'll see some funny <laughs> stuff that pops up. <laughs> <coughs> oh, and um, while we're on here, the other thing you can do is positioning. Does anyone know what market positioning is? Come on, somebody must know what market positioning is. It's when you it's okay. It's when you position yourself um, alongside other companies, right, or other individuals. So let's say, for example, um, I'm going to choose a completely different industry. Hmm. And let's say say you sell air conditioner remotes, right? And there's a professional out there that sells air conditioners, right? And he's already got lots of followers, and you kind of like want to be like that and stuff like that. Um, you want to position yourself alongside him, right? Why don't you send a message and say, hey, I'm doing this article about air conditioners. <laughs> Do you mind if I interview you? And you can be like a guest, you know, um, guest, not speaker, what's it called, guest contributor in my article. And then all of a sudden you can link uh, to his profile. He's going to share it with his network. And you've got all this engagement. And do you, could you do this with your competitors? Would you do it with your competitors? Yes. Mm. Depends how confident you are in your brand, right? So what my latest article on LinkedIn, you can check it out, is um, where I interview seven of the world's best LinkedIn experts. I don't know if they're the world's best LinkedIn experts, but they're definitely people that I think know what they're talking about. Okay, but how flattered are they that they are on the world's best, you know, seven LinkedIn expert article, and they all shared it with their network, by the way. So you create all this engagement, and it's positioning because you're aligning yourself with other professionals, and uh, there's one of only one of them is in Melbourne, so I didn't put them too close to where you know, my target audience is. Is that my Q number right now? Sorry? Is that my Q number right now? Oh, no, I'm, I think I'm one of them. <laughs> Start meaningful conversations with your readers. Okay, this is important. Um, generally, like with uh, anything on social media, you want to create engagement. So the more uh, comments and discussions you have, the more visibility your post gets. Okay, so that, that means if somebody says, Great article, um, you could write next, oh thanks for your comment, what did you find the best about it? Or what's your view on this? And then all of a sudden there's this conversation happening. And that means that, that that post will get more visibility than other posts. If you're in a group, that post will be featured at the top of the, the group. Okay, so um, when I was, uh, again, starting my business, when you start a business with no money, you've got to be a bit innovative, right? <laughs> and so I, I wanted to do more speaking engagements. And that, now we're like literally for the next two weeks, I have got one day free where I'm not doing speaking engagements. And I wanted to join the National Speakers Association. Is anyone a member of the National Speakers Association? I didn't ask that question first before <laughs> at another event and I got in trouble. And uh, but anyway, so it costs about $750 or something like that um, to join. And I didn't want to invest in that. So I went onto LinkedIn and and saw that they had a group. Now, you didn't have to pay $750 to join the LinkedIn group. So I joined the LinkedIn group, and what I said what, uh, in my post was, I'm doing an event in November, um, and I will be talking about social media marketing. I'm looking for co businesses in complementary industries that would also like to be a speaker at the event. There's gonna be about 110 Ds there, and one of the criteria I'm looking for is you have to have a database. And I had about 14 people reply, because they're all speakers, right? Who, who wouldn't want to be put in front of 100 people? Mm. Now, the, the, 
this is the little secret that I'll tell you that I didn't tell them, is I didn't know where I was going to get those hundred people from yet. Well, I did, but I didn't have them. <laughs> okay, so I spoke to all those 14 uh, people that commented, and one of the ladies um, was a, uh, a sales trainer from Sydney, and she, at the end of the conversation, she said, I've got an event coming up before then, which is going to have a hundred people at it, at it, they're paying $500 a ticket, we, we would like you to be a guest speaker, we'll pay you of course. Now she'd never seen me speak before, um, that just all came from LinkedIn. And so you can see like how being like creative, asking questions, what's in it for me, um, can all generate uh, engagement. And by the way, every time somebody posted on that post, I responded to it. So that post sat at the top of that group for like three months. Um, it's one of the most engaging posts because I just ask people, you know, to say, hey, do you want more customers kind of thing? Um, like for another example might be if you're target real estate agents, so if you went into a real estate agency group, right, and, and made the post, does anyone know a good real estate agent? What do you think your engagement might be like? Okay. Okay, the piece that ties it all together. Who can guess what that might be? You. Profile? Actually, yes, it, that's right, yeah. You and your profile. That's it. If you do all, all of this stuff, posts and lead generation and all of that stuff, and you don't have a good profile, it won't work. Um, I'm just going to draw another diagram quickly. Because when you cold call people, you have to tell people what you do, right? When, you, when they answer the phone, because they're not going to know otherwise. You don't have to do the same thing on LinkedIn. So when you send somebody a message, right? It doesn't have to say anything about you. It can all be about them. So it can say, I'm looking, I've been looking at your profile and I found it really interesting because there's a lot of similarities with people we like to work with in your industry. I'd like to find out a bit more about what you do. Could we have a conversation, say, next week on Tuesday? What's your diary like on Tuesday, right? Um, he's going, who the hell is this dude, right? <laughs> so well, he clicks on my name and looks at my profile. This is where he makes the decision on whether or not he's going to reply. So it's very important that it's good. And by the way, is this an inbound or an outbound action? Inbound. That's right. So I haven't asked him to look at my profile. You can have a look at my profile if you'd like to know what I do. He's just done it. So um, it's so important that this is right. And it's no different with the posts and all of that stuff connecting. It, it all comes back to your profile. And so we, we want to do three things. One is we want to optimize it so it shows up at the top of the search results. We want to make it stand out from the competition and we want to make it convert visitors to inquiries, if that's the objective. If you're looking for a job, you don't do this stuff, you, you put your CV up, because that's how people search when they're looking for somebody to hire. So if you've got a like, business development manager or something like that as your job title, you get a lot of inquiries from recruiters and people that want to sell you stuff. <laughs> right? So if you put um, things in your headline, Oh, Anthony Robbins, I'm going to see him next week. Investing in yourself is one of the best investments you can ever mail. <laughs> Should be make. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, when somebody searches for your name, the first search result will generally be your LinkedIn profile. If it's not, you should pro probably means your uh, LinkedIn profile is not optimized. Um, the most important part to make sure that your profile shows up, number one, is the URL, so that the website address should have your first and last name in it in order for it to show up, number one. Some people use put keywords in there, but I would, wouldn't advise doing that because as soon as you start to put in there things like IT marketing or whatever, you're competing with everyone else that wants to be number one for that keyword, whereas your name is not going to be as competitive. Okay, I'm just going to go back to where I was in a, a minute. Uh, we'll go to this first. Head, so the headline, right? Um, you want to put in things in there that uh, people are going to be searching for when they look for what you do, okay? So if I'm on LinkedIn and I'm looking for an accountant, do I search for an accountant or accounting? Accountants. Correct. So you can put more than one search term and you can separate it by like a straight up line or a diamond or one of these fancy symbols. Feel free to steal stuff from my profile. Um, that's, that's more than fine. Actually, if, if, you, if you ever see a profile with diamonds in the headline, they're probably our client. Uh, that's, that's like our you know, secret message that they're applying, and um, you don't actually put your job title there if you don't want to. Um, the reason that I've chosen to put director in there is because 
Uh, when you contact people, sometimes they want to know that they're dealing with somebody that is the decision maker. You don't have to, by any means. Um, if, does anybody do speaking or training or anything like that? Just put speaker in your, in your headline, because this is where people who run events look for speakers. Okay, now LinkedIn, as a search engine, because I'm just talking about SEO first, is a bit like Google was 12 years ago. So there's a guy who does what I do in the, in, uh, the States, I won't mention his name, who, if you scroll to the bottom of his profile, has four or five articles that when you open the articles say LinkedIn training about 100 times. And if I search for LinkedIn training within my network, guess who comes up number one? Him. So it's keyword stuffing, it's an old like, SEO trick. It works on LinkedIn. It even works like, he even ranks well on Google for it because there's so much content on LinkedIn, right? I'm not suggesting that you do that because there's personal branding implications, right? I don't think he's gonna get a lot of jobs from like, you know, banks and things like that, for example. But if you have the opportunity to mention a, a keyword again and again, it will mean that you rank better for it. So if you just do these, these three tricks, right? So I know we've got 15 minutes. You will m m see your rankings jump and you probably, you probably be number one in your network. You just change your headline and include like some keywords there and then do it in the title of your experience tabs as well. That's the way to literally jump to the top of the search results within your network within a couple of minutes. So your headline, your main headline, and then the, the um, type, the headline for your experience tabs, your job experience. So it's just your job title. Change that to include keywords. Yeah. Keywords, yeah. And yeah. the same keywords as your headline. Yeah, have a look at mine. Get some ideas from people within your network. If you can't read it, um, mine says managing director, BB Consulting, LinkedIn lead generation, social media speaker, LinkedIn training, marketing. Um, this is an old version of my profile, but you get you get the idea. Profile photo. Yeah. I've made it so you can't see it deliberately, so that you connect with me on LinkedIn. Yes. <laughs> 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 I'll exit.